Gators, it's Miss McConnell here to read you a story and today's book is Punctuation Takes a Vacation. It is by Ben Robin Pulver, Robin Pulver and illustrated by Lynn Rao Reed. Punctuation takes a vacation. Day after day, the punctuation marks showed up in Mr. Wright's classroom. Day after day, they did their jobs. They put up with being erased and replaced and corrected and ignored and moved around. Then on the hottest, stickiest day the class had ever seen, right in the middle of a lesson about commas, Mr. Wright mopped his forehead and said, let's give punctuation a vacation. As the kids cheered and headed for the playground to cool off, the punctuation marks stared at one another in disbelief. Is this the thanks we get? Asked a question mark. Well, huffed an exclamation point. Now, now, said a comma. We should take a vacation, said a period. They'll soon learn how much they need us. It's 11 o'clock now, said a colon. Let's leave at 11 Oh, two. Great, said an exclamation point. Don't leave without us, yelled the apostrophes. Whoosh! Punctuation rushed out the door. Whoosh! They rushed back in to grab the quotation marks who were too busy talking to pay attention. When Mr. Wright's class returned from the playground, they couldn't wait to find out what happened in chapter four of their book. Ace Scooper, Dog Detective. Mr. Wright opened his mouth to read aloud, but then he stopped and stared. This is weird. The punctuation is missing. Uh-oh, where could it be? Yikes, maybe punctuation took a vacation. We are in big trouble now. Mr. Wright was right. Nothing made sense without punctuation. Do you miss us? How much? Why couldn't we take a vacation sooner? Guess who? Mr. Wright's class, Hometown USA. A couple days later, the school secretary delivered a small bundle of postcards to Mr. Wright's class. They were postmarked, take a break, Lake. We flop, we plop, we stop, we stay, put in our lounge chairs. We are happy thinking our complete thoughts. Thoughtfully yours, sentence stoppers. To Mr. Wright's class in Hometown USA. Dear friends, swimming, sailing, sunning, soaring, water skiing, Next time, we must remember bug spray, toothpaste, flashlight, water shoes. Sincerely, list makers. Greetings to Mr. Wright's class. This postcard doesn't take the place of a letter. If anything, it takes the place of a letter that's us. That's our job. We know we're possessive. But that's the way we are. Don't forget us while we're gone. Substitutes. A big hello from Vacation Paradise where the water is as clear as a well-punctuated sentence. We talk all day, we talk all night, too busy talking to write anymore, the yakety yaks, to Mr. Wright's class. Kids, writing this on schedule at 1.15, yummy lunch at 11.55, going swimming at three o'clock sharp, the timekeepers. Wow, what a ride, you should try tubing, scary, fun, yikes, hold on, we want emotional us. Dear Mr. Wright's class, the kids guessed who wrote the postcards and they wanted to write back, but they couldn't write without punctuation. The best they could do was borrow some from Mr. Rongo's class next door, where punctuation seemed to be running wild. Dear punctuation, please come back. We need you. We miss you too. Like that? School is difficult without you. We can't do reading, writing, or riddles without punctuation. Chapter four of our book, A Scooper, does not make sense. We will never take punctuation for granted again. Won't you please come back before 10 on Friday? Mr. Wright says, punctuation, please come home. Sincerely, Mr. Wright's class. Punctuation, take a break, Lake. Urgent, hurry. So the punctuation marks returned to Mr. Wright's classroom to do the job only they could do. 
Mr. Rongo's unruly punctuation scrambled back to their own classroom. We have so much to tell you. Who did you miss the most? It's going to be good to be back in Mr. Wright's class. Commas, periods, exclamation points, question marks, colons, apostrophes, quotation marks. Take your places. 10 a.m. Time to study us. Punctuation rules. Quotation marks belong at the beginning and end of the words a person speaks. Question marks come at the end of a question. Use a comma to separate each item in a series or list. A comma also separates two complete thoughts in a sentence. Use an exclamation point after a word or sentence that expresses strong feelings. An apostrophe takes the place of a letter and changes two words into one. An apostrophe is used with the letter S to show ownership or possession. The colon lets you know what time it is. It separates the big guys, hours, from the little guys, minutes. The period is the stop sign at the end of a sentence or complete thought. It also is used in abbreviations. Punctuation marks work together to make reading and writing flow smoothly. Mr. Wright said, thank you very much when we gave him a t-shirt from Take a Break Lake. Did anybody find my missing flip-flops? Where, oh, where could it be? That's question marks flip-flop? I don't know. It's in my suitcase. I collected shells, stones, blisters, pine cones, feathers, and bug bites. It was fun, but I am so tired. Hey, look, great photos of us at Take a Break Lake. Gosh, it's 2.15. It's time to return the library book I took on vacation. This photo is of me. I stopped two sentences from crashing into each other at the corner of Bay Street and Lake Avenue. The end. Period.